evening. I'm good, thanks for having me. Okay, I have a million questions about the VI Peel. Okay, great. I'm so excited to get one, but first I need to know, does it hurt? No, the peel is virtually painless. It does tingle for a few minutes as you first start to apply it. And what's in it? In the peel is TCA, phenol, salicylic acid, retin-A, and vitamin C. Can you apply it to your neck and your chest? Yes, you can. You can apply it to your neck, your hands, and your back. Okay, great. And for, for your hands and your chest, is that more for brown spots or is it a different type of peel than what I'm getting today? Um, it depends on what type of damage you have. We have different types of peels that address the different conditions of the skin. So the peel I'm having today really focuses on anti-aging, fine lines, little skin tone. What other types of peels does VI have? We just launched two new peels. One is called the Precision Plus, which is for hyperpigmentation and melasia. And then we also have the Acne Peel, and this addresses acne scarring and acne. Oh great, so if like you're a teenager and you're just starting to get acne, you're, you're able to use this peel. Yes, and it's really a great one because then they won't have bad scarring as they get older. That's fantastic. So today after I peel, after we apply the peel, when should I expect to start flaking? About the third day around your nose and mouth, you will start to see the flaking, and then after that your whole face will start to peel. And will I be applying my traditional moisturizers during that time? What do you recommend to help manage the flaking? Well, the first day, right after we do it, in four hours, we don't recommend putting anything on your skin. And then at that time, we recommend putting the post-peel lotion on your face and start applying it two to three times a day. And that'll keep your skin moist. Then when should I expect for all of that skin to have sloughed off and to have my fresh new face? At about seven days, you'll have beautiful, glowing skin. Results in a week. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so what are we going to do first? First, we're going to remove all your makeup mm -hmm. and make sure that your skin is oil-free and there's no residue from your makeup at all. So you keep my eyes open or closed? Um, you can keep your eyes open um, because we can do the peel on your eyelids and under your eyes. It's that safe. So you can get right up to those fine lines that are so close under your eyes? Yes. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to start, Taylor, at the top of your forehead and work my way down. Okay. And I'm going to go over your whole face one time first. Okay. And I notice it sort of has a bronzy tint to it. What is my face going to look like once we've applied this? Um, once it dries, your face sometimes will have a little redness, but it will subside within a few minutes afterwards. I can feel the tingling, but it doesn't it doesn't hurt. I don't not in any pain whatsoever, but I can feel the tingly effect that you had mentioned. And after I leave here, is my skin going to look okay for me to go out in public? Yes, we recommend not putting anything on your skin for four hours. And then in four hours, we recommend putting on the post peel protector, which is a hydrocortisone 1% which will keep your skin moist. And if you're out in the sun, apply um, the 55 SPF. And you know, the beginning tingling that I felt up in the forehead has already completely subsided. I really only feel it in the areas that right after you apply it, I feel the tingling and it's a little warm and then it has already subsided on the first side. Yes, yeah, so it is virtually painless, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And. The VI peel is so safe, I can do your eyelids and under your eyes also. I love that because that's where you get those stubborn fine lines and it really, I think, would allow you to prolong in between if you're someone who gets Botox around your eyes, you know, just to fight those little lines. It does. It gets rid of all the fine lines around your eyes. Now when can I start wearing makeup again? You can put makeup on four hours after you've had the peel. We recommend, though, just using the hydrocortisone, though, instead for a while. So I'm going to apply the peel to your eyelids. Put your head back, and we'll do that. And this will have a tightening effect as well? Yes, it will. And your eyelids will peel, and it will get rid of the fine lines. Love that. Does your neck and chest peel as much as the face? No, it doesn't, but we will apply it to your neck and chest, and um, it gets rid of a lot of the sunspots that you get. And in how many days should I expect for all of my skin to be sloughed off in my 
bright, fresh skin to be showing to. At day three, your face will start peeling around your nose and mouth, and then gradually the rest of your face will peel. At day seven, your face should be completely done. Right now, your face has a beautiful red glow to it. It's just kind of a pretty pink color, but um, within about an hour, it should be completely gone. Within 15 minutes, it'll look a lot lighter than it is right now. And then what will it look like tomorrow? Um, it, your skin has still a pink glow to it, but it won't be like it is right now. And I can just wear makeup as usual, but there'll yes. be no peeling tomorrow. No, not at all. And this evening, we give you two towelettes. One you'll use this evening. You'll clean your face thoroughly, apply a towelette, and leave that on your face all night. Don't put anything else on your skin. And then tomorrow night, you'll do the same. You'll clean your face and apply the towelette also. Are we gonna wash this off? No, it stays on, and basically it's, it's all absorbed into your skin. So I'll just be applying the hydrocortisone cream on top of this in four hours? Yes, and we recommend no direct um, sunlight while your, pe your face is peeling. How often can I get one of these peels? We recommend that you have one every three to four months to keep up with anti-aging. Gets rid of all the fine lines and keeps your skin looking really fresh. I always feel like after winter, I get that dull kind of winter skin and I could use a little brightening before spring. Oh, this is the perfect solution. We're done. That was easy. I'm gonna send you home with the patient's kit and this is the post peel protector, which is the hydrocortisone, which will stop itching and it protects your skin. This is the one I apply four hours from now. Yes. Got it. And you'll do it two to three times a day. And then this is the 55 SPF and you'll apply this if you're going to be out in the sun. Well, thank you so much. This is easy.